Welcome to howtocookthat.net. Today we're going to make a sock monkey as it for a cake topper. I'm actually making my son's first birthday cake and I've just chosen a few of his favourite toys. So let's get started. First of all you need to mix your colours. We need the white, brown, red and black. If you're not sure how to do that, go to the video on fondant basics on this channel. First of all roll out your sock monkey's body rolling it into an oval shape and then put three pieces of spaghetti down the middle to give it some strength. The sock monkey is quite tall and lean so once you've done that just give it a bit of an extra roll to make sure that it's the right shape. Then place that upright on your baking paper. The reason we put it on baking paper is so that it doesn't stick to your bench because we're going to need to be able to put it aside to let it firm up and dry overnight. Next we want to make his legs. Take some more of the brown fondant, roll it into a skinny snake shape and just place some cream on the end and roll them together. Cut it to length, just put it next to the body to see roughly how long you want it to be. Cut it to the right length, then just make your other leg match the first one. Push it down flat on one end and so that then you can just place the body on top of the legs. Next we're going to make his arms. Take another piece of your brown fondant and roll it out into the snake shape. Again putting some cream onto each end for his hands and roll it smooth so that it all matches together. And then trim it again to the right length. This time with the hands we are going to use some spaghetti to attach it to the body. We didn't need to do that with the legs because they sit flat on the floor but with the arms they are going to need some spaghetti for strength. So simply place a piece of spaghetti into the arm and then gently stick it into the body making sure you're sticking it on the right angle and place the arm in the position you want it to be. Later I added some food that mimicked the food that we were eating at the birthday party. Uh, we had a cake pop so I put a cake pop in the monkey's hand made out of fondant as well so you can do that sort of thing later if you would like. Next to make his head roll a ball of your brown fondant then take a smaller piece of cream roll it into a ball and cut it in half and place that on top of his head for the cream top that he has and roll it together push it together to make it nice and smooth Next we will make his mouth, take a smaller ball again of cream fondant, cut it in half. Then he has the red smile, so we're going to take some red fondant and roll it out very thinly and cut a fine strip that is pointed on the corners for the corner of his mouth. Pick that up and place it over the cream fondant, a little bit of water on, back, on the back of the fondant and place it on his head where it goes. Next if you want the knitted look of the sock monkey mix up some royal icing and using a clean paintbrush just put some little dabs of your royal icing over your fondant. That doesn't have to be thick it just gives adds that texture to it. Next take a tiny piece of black fondant and roll it into a ball and place one on each side for his eyes. So we'll take another small piece of brown fondant, roll it into a ball, cut it in half, obviously I'm using a very blunt knife, don't use it on your hand if you've got a sharp knife, roll them both into a ball again and place on the side of his head and then I'm using the back end of the paintbrush, just push the ears in in the middle a little bit to give that ear shape and make sure they're in the right position. Next we need to make his hair take some red fondant and roll it out super fine like a piece of string you might have to practice this a few times if you're not used to rolling the fondant then take your skewer break off a small length and using the end of the skewer poke it into the top of his head and repeat that until he's got enough hair if you're finding this tutorial useful don't forget to click on the like button under the video or click on subscribe to be notified by email when new videos are available. Once you've added enough hair just use your skewer to rearrange it to give him the hairstyle you're happy with. Next to attach the head to the body we'll take a piece of spaghetti poke it in gently into the head and carefully picking it up so that you don't damage the shape of the head or any of the hard work you've just done and place that head onto 
the body of your sock monkey. Then using your paintbrush again, add the knitted look to the sock monkey just by placing dabs of your royal icing over his body. Hope you enjoyed this video. Click to subscribe or to view the finished cake you can go to the blog howtocookthat.net.